thank you very much for attending uh, this training of SIJ installation guidance and uh, address uh, common installation issues and our solutions. Thank you very much. Uh, here is Eddie, uh, the technical support for SIJ. So let's start today's training. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce um, the overview of our um, host system product solutions. Uh, actually, um, on the market, all the storage, residential storage system and uh, um, PV inverters can be divided into three kinds of this, these products. First is the generation on-grid inverter. Uh, it only generates the uh, the power to transfer the PV DC um, current to the AC current and uh, generate the power. And the second is the AC, uh, sorry, second is the storage system. It will um, storage uh, the the power uh, to the to the battery and uh, um, discharge it when you uh, you are using it. And the third is the AC coupling. This kinds of the uh, energy, energy, energy storage system is used to um, uh, is used to this situation when there is an existing inverter on site and uh, we can uh, use uh, we can use this uh, AC coupling system on site to connect it with this existing solar inverter and uh, charge the power and discharge the power uh, by our products. These three kinds of the products uh, is the main products use, using in, on the market. So first, as we can see here, this is the on-grid inverter. So uh, from our uh, products, we have uh, R5 and R6, and also the um, micro inverter, the M2 series. So this is the this is used for the power generation. And uh, second is the smart energy storage. Uh, we have the H2 hybrid series and the HS2. And uh, also we have uh, uh, this batteries, B2 battery second technology. And uh, also we have the uh, off-grid E5. And here is the, moni uh, here is the consumption monitoring module like uh, our uh, SEC and the e manager they can uh, monitor the uh, consumption and PV generation and uh, the power you sell or buy from the grid. And also we uh, report the data from the all-in-one all all AIO3 module to report the data. Also, we uh, after the reporting the data, we will receive this, uh, this information from our a portal, ESIJ Home and Anycaper. That's the overview of our products. And also, uh, as well as the uh, main uh, kinds of the uh, products on the market, uh, no matter if it's our, ours or others. Here, uh, today we will uh, mainly talk about this uh, it too, uh, because this is a hybrid uh, inverter. Um, and also it, ha it has the function of the AC coupling, which will uh, connect uh, this, um, uh, this battery uh, with other uh, existing solar inverters. Uh, so, uh, so this is uh, um, very typical and uh, um, very useful uh, serious uh, products uh, for us and also uh, is very popular on the market. So let's go on today's topic. Uh, as we all know, the first step is the installation and the second is the initialization. Uh, and uh, the initialization, which I have uh, talked of with uh, in another uh, project, uh, training and uh, it's about the software settings and also we can um, uh, set the parameters and uh, the software versions 
for our uh, customers when you uh, uh, when you completed the installation. However, for the installation, we have uh, many uh, points we need to pay attention to. This is uh, a very uh, typical and uh, have has a potential of uh, of serious problems we may uh, met in the uh, in the actual situation when we install this system. So let's go on. Um, this topic is divided into three parts. The first is the installation guidance. I believe um, um, no matter what the brands and the, what the um, products we need to know about uh, the, uh, the in in introduction of this product so that we can know um, what, uh, what we are using and uh, what uh, we are going to install. And uh, then I will um, show you some uh, uh, common installation issues. Um, maybe installers may uh, usually meet. And also uh, the, the second part is the uh, common installation issues and the installations. I will uh, show you some uh, uh, actual cases that we can have a look. Maybe we don't met, met this uh, before, but uh, um, maybe someday you, you will you have such issues. And uh, the uh, third part is a bit complicated. It's about the parallel connections. Um, okay, let's go. First uh, of all is the installation guidance. But uh, before that, I hope we can know uh, more about our products like the naming room. So uh, H2 means hybrid, right? And uh, 6K means 6 kilowatt. This is the rated power. And the S single phase, T three phase. It's very simple, right? Okay, let's, um, let's go. And uh, just to remember this naming room. It's very simple for us to remember. Okay. Okay, sure. I uh, I have uh, noticed that uh, um, Mr. Mr. Zika and uh, uh, told me that I, I will I will I will send this video to the um, to the uh, YouTube after this webinar. Thank you very much. And uh, this is the HS two. The difference between the H two and the HS two is the uh, HS two is the all in one system. It combines the inverter pass and the control box pass, as we can see here. This is the inverter, right? And here, it has a control box here, but it combines with the inverter pass. It also has the same naming room, and uh, as we can see here, this is a control box. Control box is installed with the uh, battery, and uh, as we can see here, this had it has two batteries connected with the control box, and it has the four batteries. Please remember that um, some, some uh, we have met that some installers may make some uh, um, very simple mistakes that we, they uh, installed five batteries with the single phase. But uh, uh, for our H2 hybrid system, single phase, we, um, uh, the, 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 the maximum uh, battery is, uh, is about uh, four B2, like here. And for three phase, we uh, need to install at least two, <coughs> sorry, two B2 installed and up to five B2 for one tower. We can um, install uh, more tower, but uh, for one tower is up to five for three phase and four B2 batteries for single phase, okay? And uh, remember this, this volume, the normal voltage of one module, this one module, battery module, is about 100 volts, 100 to range from 100 to 100, uh, uh, sorry, and uh, five, uh, 105 volts. Uh, this is uh, more um, details of this uh, naming room. Uh, we only just need to know about uh, uh, this, this uh, parameters. Uh, and uh, we can see here, uh, do you remember the H means? Yes, it's hybrid, right? And the two means the, uh, this is the second technology. We, have, we also have the H1, but this is H2, the second technology. And the T means three phase. 
and also S means single phase. And uh, uh, this two means two strings, two MPPT. And here is the rated power. Um, that's to remember the first two parameters is uh, 10 kilowatt. It's, if it's uh, uh, five zero, it means uh, five kilowatt. We, uh, we also have the, uh, the, the instruction of this, uh, uh, is this this type as I mentioned uh, just now, and also J we just uh, skip it. We don't need to know the the meaning is the factory. Yeah, yes, and this parameters is a bit more important. It's about the years produced year and uh, week. This is a week in this produced year. Okay, that's the key point we need to pay attention. So it's the same with the batteries. As we can see here, battery second technology and the U unit. If it's the C, means the control box. Do you remember the control box installed with the batteries? U means unit and the C means control box. And uh, uh, these four figures, we need to pay attention because uh, it represents uh, different battery levels or different battery types because um, some some installers may uh, make some mistakes when they uh, took uh, pick up the batteries from the warehouse. They may uh, bring some uh, other figures like four, uh, two, uh, one, and this is a five or this five zero. So these different figures uh, represent different types of the batteries, and the different types of the batteries can't be uh, installed in one power. Remember this different types of these batteries can't installed in one tower, okay? So we make, we, we, we need to make these battery types in uh, as are the same in one tower, okay? So let's go on. As we all know, um, this uh, residential storage system have three kinds of the working modes. So first is the self-use mode, and the second is the time of use mode, and uh, the second, uh, the, sorry, the uh, last is the uh, backup mode. And uh, I believe many of uh, many of our uh, customers have uh, used of uh, uh, used our products, and I believe you are familiar with it. Just uh, have a quick look. Self-use mode is the default mode. We use uh, discharge the uh, uh, sorry. First is the PV generation. Uh, to support the loads, and the second is the battery, and the third is to share this power, the access power to the grid. Okay, then the time of use mode can control the charge and discharge time, and it's very flexible. And the backup mode is most uh, uh, used uh, in the uh, blackout uh, situations. Okay, let's go on. Oh, yes, this is the um, top logic of the uh, whole system, whole system diagram. Uh, as we can see here, this is a PV generation and uh, it transferred to the AC current and AC power from our inverter and uh, to the grid and the loads and also our batteries. And uh, um, it seems very simple, but uh, we needed to pay attention to some uh, um, details like the connection between the inverter and batteries, and as well as the uh, wiring of these batteries, because our batteries is uh, connected in series. So some some um, some mates may, may they may ignore some details. They, they think that we, uh, we can install these uh, batteries and connect the wirings um, as what they want. So it, it, it has a very, it has lots of potential serious problems I'll be mentioned later. And the second part is about the smart meter. As we all know, uh, it's, a, it's very um, complicated when we install this uh, uh, communication of this smart meter because it has uh, uh, the, the, the net port cable and uh, it has the several settings of the meter, and it has the, the, the pin wiring of the cable. I, I, we, we don't know um, it, uh, it's complicated for us to um, fight which part is wrong. And, and no worries, I, that's the, I will tell you how to do this. Let's go on. 
And uh, uh, for our control box, uh, we only need to know there are three kinds of the LED lights. The first is the green, means it's normal, okay? The green means normal and red means a fault. It's faulty, it has some wrong with it. And the green means it's off. It uh, um, doesn't uh, connect, uh, it doesn't being on, turn on. And so we need to check the power cable, okay? And uh, here is the battery system of this uh, uh, connection of the between the inverter and the control box. Uh, just to remember, battery positive connected to the inverters, battery positive and uh, negative to negative. And another cable is the communication cable. Okay, it's uh, to make sure it's the battery control box uh, communicates with the inverter. Okay, let's, as we mentioned just now, uh, B2 batteries are connected in series, right? Post, uh, positive to negative, I will, okay? Positive to negative, positive to negative, it's, it's in series, however, However, many installers may short circuit this one module. They may uh, just uh, connect the positive, the positive of this one module to this negative. So it will cause the short circuit, which will burn the fuse of this battery. We, will, we need to pay attention to more details of this. Okay, let's go on. Um, this page, I just want to um, uh, emphasize this communication cable. As we can see here, the first module's communication port is connected to the next module's port. This is port, uh, this is port zero, and this is port one. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And the bottom battery must install with the RJ45 plug. It's just a residential uh, resistor, sorry, it's just a resistor, but we need to um, plug it in. Otherwise, we may um, lose the sequences of these batteries because it have five, for example, it have five batteries. And without this, this resistor, we can't make the sequence. So we, we don't know whether uh, which one is the first, uh, which one is the second, and which one is the last. And only we plugged this cable in, we, we can know the outer, okay? So I will show you some photos. Um, now later, uh, this is training to show you the mistakes we may often make. Let's go. Uh, here is the um, wearing of the meter. I believe uh, no matter if this is our products, this is SIJ's products, or this is uh, uh, other brands, we may have the similar smart meter uh, installed in the, on, on the site. But uh, the, it, uh, actually, I believe you, you may have uh, many issues with it before because we don't know, uh, like I just mentioned, we don't know the net port, uh, which pin used should be used, and uh, the sequence of the um, CT outers, and uh, um, like you can see here, many communication cables, and uh, which one should be connected, and uh, what's the meaning of this cable, and uh, uh, okay, let's see the diagram first. So, uh, for each two products, we need to install, plug this net port to meter port and EMS port, which means it's communicated with the smart meter to make sure this net cable connected so that the smart meter can report data to the inverter. Okay? And the second is the CT. The CT is used to detect the power and current of the, of the power cable. So the C, uh, especially for three-phase system, it's very important to make sure the sequence of CT is correct. Right, phase A connect to the right uh, to the to the left left terminals, and the phase B connect to the middle terminals, and phase C to the right terminals. And this twenty four and twenty five is used for the net cable connected to the inverter. Okay, simple and easy. But remember, this 
we will have many mistakes when we connect this. So, and also remember the direction of CT should always point to the lows, point to the lows. Otherwise, uh, the grid power, uh, the we buy or sell is reversed. It will make the data abnormal. And uh, uh, the last one is the settings of the parameter uh, of the smart meters. The uh, parameter settings of smart meter, the three most important parameters. The first one is the mode bus. This is a single phase smart meter. The mode bus means the communication protocol. And the second is the baud rate. Baud rate we used uh, 9600. And the three, baud, baud three means the 9600. And address, if you only installed with one smart meter, the address should be one. Okay, and also it's the same with the three-phase smart meter. N1, N1 means mode bus protocol. Uh, and uh, 9600 means the baud rate. It's the same with the baud rate 3. N1 protocol, 9600 baud rate, and the address should be 1 if you only install with one smart meter. And also we have the... Uh, Routine settings of single meter, single smart meter, and the three phase smart meter uh, videos, and uh, it has already uh, been sent to the uh, YouTube, and here is the uh, website. So this is the first part of our um, uh, of logic of this H uh, two system installation. We uh, review the smart meter installation, and we review the battery installation. It's a similar with other brands, but uh, we need to know the function of the of different parts so that we know how to how to solve this uh, installation issues. And uh, okay, do you have any questions on this? Yet? Okay, let's go on the second the second part. It's a common installation issues. I will um, give you some cases and uh, I hope you can uh, have a, a quick uh, source and what, which is wrong, which is right. Let's go on. So um, can you tell me which is correct? The left one or the right one? Okay. So the left one is correct because we mentioned the batteries are connected in series. And the right one is fault because as we can see here, this module he connected the battery positive and negative, which will which will cause the fuse battery DC fuse internal to be burnt, and also it will cause the uh, after the DC fuse is burnt, the voltage of this module should be abnormal. As we can see here, this is a. Uh, this is uh, actual uh, cases we meet. Uh, so uh, the batteries, positive and active terminals and short circuit, uh, circuited and uh, which causing the power line is burned back, black. It has burned black, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit detailed. So, and also if this battery fuse internal burned by the short circuited, with the positive and negative, and the voltage will be abnormal. Do you remember the normal voltage of the B2 battery? It's a range from 100 volt to 105 volt. So if the if it's <clears throat> if it's abnormal, the voltage will be range from zero to 90 volt. 
which means the DC fuel's internal may be burned. Okay, another case, and uh, can you find, um, let, let me uh, tell you the uh, right uh, answer, the right one, the right picture has something wrong with it. It's uh, not so clear, but uh, can we find what's the issue with it? If we say it very clear, sorry. Uh, okay, I can see um, uh, there is a question. I will you um, answer your questions after uh, this part. Thank you very much. As we can see here, remember this? This is RG4, RG45 resistor. It will help these batteries to make the order, make the sequences correct. So if we don't plug it, we don't know which one is the first one battery and which is the uh, second, we don't know the, the, the order. So it will make the order, the sequence of these batteries uh, incorrect. So we must install this RJ45 resistor, okay? Here is uh, another case, as we can see here, remember, the LED lights of the control box. This is LED lights, right? It's red. Remember what means it was right? It has a fault. And uh, here, I show you two uh, photos of the batteries and uh, do you know what's the fault? What's the issue? Okay, um, can you see the serial number of these batteries? They are different. So um, then we pick up the batteries from the warehouse or from our distributor. Uh, the, we must uh, use the same type, the same type, they are different, right? The same type in one tower. So these two batteries, battery type should be the same. Okay, remember this, otherwise we need to uh, replace it with one 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 new a new battery. Okay, here is the key point of the meter wiring. Um, which one is correct and which one is wrong? Yeah, uh, the right one is, is wrong because as we can see here, as we just mentioned, the sequences of the CT of the CT must be correct. For, for example, the face A must connect to, to the left, the face B, middle, and the face C, the right one. And this 24 and 25 is used for the communication between the smart meter and inverter. So that's the correct A, B, C, left, middle, right. And however, this one, this diagram shows the wrong sequence of CT. Like for, uh, this is A phase, right? A phase connected to the middle one and the B phase connected to the right one. They are, they are in a mess, in a mess of the varying sequence of CT. So the data should be to, should be very abnormal. For example, the data uh, in the middle night, maybe it, it is charging without any PV generation. Uh, and uh, during the daytime, it will discharging, it will discharge uh, the, whole di uh, the whole daytime. So this will cause the wrong, the abnormal um, operation of the system. So make sure the sequence of CT is correct. And also, can you see the grid? This is grid side and it's the load. Remember, our <coughs> CT should always point to the loads. 
otherwise the generation will be reversed. Okay. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, in communication of battery, will uh, it be on from single source or we have to start means on every battery? Actually, uh, we use the control box to control all the batteries uh, uh, using. We only need to turn on the uh, uh, battery button and the display of the control box. And uh, in regarding to the communication, uh, it's only uh, we only use the the cable, the network cable, uh, to connect the control box and the uh, the inverter. Also for the all in uh, all in one system, which combines the inverter and the control box, we don't need to communication to connect these two parts because they have combined. Um. Uh, I don't. I don't know whether this answer will be satisfied. And uh, do you have any other questions? Okay, so uh, here is the the third part. It's about the parallel connections. It's a bit complicated for, um, especially for uh, the uh, for whom who uh, first using our uh, products. But uh, uh, it's very. I will make it easy for us to understand this. Let's go on. As we can see here, it, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, I um, uh, received an answer, uh, a question uh, that uh, asked that will, uh, will we be discussing the 100 kilowatt battery? Actually, we talked about the uh, residential one and the uh, uh, Regarding to the commercial one, uh, which is the one hundred kilowatt battery, uh, it it uh, it will maybe have the next training. So this is just for the residential one, as we can see from the diagram. Uh, it's the uh, house is great from the house and house loads. Uh, okay, so uh, actually the uh, the um, the diagram or the top logic of the uh, residential one and the commercial one is very similar. If you are interested in, we can um, have the um, have the uh, have the training next time. Okay, thank you very much. So this is about the power connections. Uh, as we can see here, this is all the same type. For example, this is H two series H uh, two uh, three phase inverters, and uh, with batteries or without batteries. Anyway, it is the storage type. And we can uh, connect them up to 10 inverters. Uh, also, as we can see here, this is a B2, right? The B25 means the five kilowatt an hour. Uh, and uh, uh, this is for one module. So this has two batteries. It's the 10, 10 kilowatt an hour capacity of these batteries. Okay, and also uh, I believe uh, this residential one is uh, uh, the rated power range from the uh, five kilowatt to uh, ten or twenty kilowatt. Okay, so uh, we if we want to uh, install with one uh, with with more uh, storage systems uh, like H two, and uh, uh, we can see here we only need. One smart meter is in the, uh, sorry, it is house meter. One smart meter here is enough just to, to monitor the whole uh, whole power, whole, whole system's power by our cell from the grid. And this is one smart meter is enough uh, because we, our, uh, our H2 hybrid uh, inverters have the functions uh, of the, uh, have the functions of the monitoring, uh, of the monitoring loading. Uh, but also we need to uh, make sure the settings are set correctly. This is the same way we uh, connected with the smart meter to connect 
the net port, net port in the meter port. And also, we need to choose the corresponding testing dividers mode. For example, we use one single phase meter or one three phase four wire or three wire meter. We just select the corresponding one. And the parallel connection settings, uh, because it's the, all these inverters are storage uh, inverters, so we need to select the storage on grid parallel system. Okay, This is the total number. And uh, this is a bit more complicated. Uh, it's, uh, if there it is an IC coupling system, because if the customer has uh, existing solar inverters on his side, so we, uh, we uh, he still need to, uh, he still wants to install with storage system. So it's fine. But uh, remember, we need to install with two smart meters. And uh, the address of the grid meter is one and the address of the PV meter is two. And we install the PV meter is to monitor the generation from the existing existing inverter so that we can we, we can know the, the whole generation from it two and other existing solar inverters. And also we need to selected the corresponding settings from the app. It's about a software, very important as well. So first is the testing device. We selected the two single phase meter or two three phase meter as the actual situation. And the, we selected the parallel connection settings as the storage with the PV on grid parallel because there is a, already an existing solar inverter on site. And also here is the two meters connection methods. As we can see here, we need to connect this in 425 of the two meters connected. And also, I, uh, for example, this is a grid meter. We need to connect the grid meter to the inverter, to the inverter. Okay, uh, this is the address we uh, need to pay attention. So the grid meter should be one and PV meter should be two. If they are the same, the data may be wrong. And also uh, we need to connect it the, the two meters. And also here, this net cable is connected to the inverter, inverter's mid port. And also we uh, need to select the corresponding settings. Okay, so this is for the parallel systems connection of our H2 systems. Um, yeah, this is a uh, uh, cases. This is a single phase connected to meters and uh, connected with other inverters, and this is the same. Um, do you have any uh, other questions?